What's up, Stat Family? I told you we was coming back with another one. We got Luka Dantich, Revenge Tour has arrived. This is a live reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, and comment below. Let's. Yeah. You already know it's legendary. We thank the Lord for another day. Every time we get up here, if we don't do that, make sure y'all let me know in that comment section. I tell you that. But you ain't thank the Lord today. Whatever you got going on, but please let me know if y'all don't hear. It's legendary enough. Promise you that. Hope everybody enjoying their day, having a good day. And we about to get down to it. Shout out to my Dallas Maverick. Maverick fan for life. Y'all know how it go. Win, lose, draw. We still in here. By far you know, the most disappointing team last year in the NBA was the Dallas Mavericks. As coming to your Dallas, had just made the West Finals and was riding high after a great postseason. And with that being the case, they had some pretty lofty goals to win at least 49 games in the West and be a semi contender. Now, unfortunately for Mavs fans, they didn't even crack 40 wins and didn't make the playoffs, let alone the planned tournament. Last year's Mavericks team was a colossal failure. And the fact they had Kyrie Irving mid-season only compounded how much of a failure last year was. Definitely. And for Luka Doncic, the individual, last year by far was his worst NBA season. And with that being the case, a lot of the media, even fans, kind of began to question if Luka Doncic got crowned too early as being a top five player, one of the elite offensive forwards, one of the future greats in the NBA. Those debates definitely happen, but luckily for Luka Doncic, <laughs> he's barely even 25 years old yet and had tons of time to win an elusive championship. And coming to this year, Dallas, Luka himself, Kyrie, Jason Kidd, even some of the role players were kind of on the hot seat to bounce back and be a top five seed in the West. And so far, Luka individually and team winning wise has delivered in 2023. As so far, he's averaging 31.6 points, typical Luka scoring, 9.6 boards, 29 assists, on 49% shooting, and 41% from deep. Currently in the NBA, Luka Doncic is the only player in the NBA top five in scoring and assists, and second in May threes, only behind Steph Curry at 4.4. If Luka somehow keeps his pace up from deep, when it's all said and done this year, he could crack 350 plus made threes, which ranked third all time on behind 2016 Curry and 2019 James Harden. And the positive impact Lucas had on his teammates, and especially his new teammates, can be understated, as someone like Grant Williams has taken a massive leap in Dallas. Look, in Boston, we knew this guy was a decent player off the bench and a solid role player. But with Luka Doncic, Grant Williams has kind of been unlocked. As defensively, he can hold his own where it's threes and fours, and even small ball fives. And as a catch and shoot player, he's extremely deadly with tons of confidence. And if you look at both Grant Williams and Tim Hardaway Jr., in large part due to Luka, their spot up shooting is off the charts, as both these guys rank top five in spot up shooting scoring. Grant Williams being first at 8.7 points on 50% shooting, and Tim Hardaway being fifth at just under seven. Playing with Luka Doncic undoubtedly has unlocked both these players. If the defense is so focused on Luka, these guys get wide open looks every single night. And when you have someone like Luka Doncic, an elite scorer, elite passer, and a playmaker, the best bet for the defense is let his teammates beat him. As when it comes to Luka the individual, his ISO scoring still is off the charts. As last in the NBA, who is leading score for ISO points, and this year is on pace to repeat that. As so far in 2023, he's averaging 10.8 points per game on nearly 60% shooting on ISO scoring. Ahead of De'Aaron Fox, Jason Tatum, Cam Thomas, and even Kevin Durant. And for the Kyrie Luka Doncic duo when they really formed, the recipe for this team's success really was pretty simple, as both Kyrie and Luka are elite offensive talents. And Kyrie, unlike most score first guards, 
can actually play off the ball. So pairing him with Luka Doncic, in all reality, is a perfect fit. Now Kyrie's overall stats this year kind of are down, only at 20 points per game on subpar Kyrie shooting splits. But in all reality, Kyrie's play so far, him not playing the Kyrie standards, really hasn't had an impact on the team negatively. As the things Dallas needs Kyrie to do great, he is still doing great. As when it comes to ISO scoring, Kyrie, just like Luka, is elite in that aspect. Averaging 5.3 points, tied for 6 in the NBA on above 50% shooting. And one stat I just couldn't even believe, Luka and Kyrie's offensive rating when they're on the court is actually lower compared to when they're off the court. That seems unreal, but it's actually true. Once again, showing Dallas supporting cast is much improved and so far to this point, playing up to par. And one of the weapons Luka Dodge got in the draft was Derek Lively, debatably the steal of the draft. And this guy so far has came out of nowhere, has taken the starting center role, and has been Dwight Powell on steroids. And so far, Lively is a walking double-double, solid on defense, and shooting north of 75%. And if you look at paint scoring only within 5 to 10 feet, out of the top 25 paint scores lively, ranked second in field percentage, only behind Jakob Hurdle at 84.4%. What that stat should tell you from Luka Doncic is a cheat code on offense. As someone like Lively just got picked up, plugged in, and was ready to go off the bat, and already is an elite player at the rim, largely because of Luka. Now, kind of looking at the downside of Luka, one thing that's critiqued about all the time is his defense. And look, so far this year, he hasn't been anything special on the defensive end. But I think Luka, in a weird way, kind of like Jokic and Steph Curry, he's one of those rare players whose offensive gifts are so overwhelming, they kind of offset and nullify his defensive limitations. As Luka on ISO scoring, passing, playmaking, his pick and roll game, it's all next level and virtually unstoppable. I mean, look at his pick and roll scoring this year. He ranks second in the NBA at 10.7 points on 61% shooting. That is video game type stuff. And combining his whole skill set, that's why Dallas so far is fourth in offensive rating and fifth in points per game at above 120 points. Luka's offensive stats, the raw numbers, 30 points, 9 assists, and 9 boards kind of remain the same. But the advanced metrics is pick and roll game, ISO play. Those numbers have drastically picked up and gotten even better. And when talking about guys like Luka Doncic, who's already an NBA superstar at 425, when it comes to these guys, it's not really wise to doubt them. Now, I've seen many debates about him versus Tatum, who's actually better overall player. And look, as much as I love Tatum, Luka's offensive game still is another stratosphere. Yes, Tatum is the better overall defender, and that's highly valuable. But Luka's offensive output, how night to night he's always there, 30 points, 8 boards, 8 assists, that for Luka is always there and guaranteed. When it comes to playoffs, every single time this dude gets better in the postseason. Again, Tatum is great in the playoffs, but his overall play doesn't jump up like Luka Doncic. And while I think both these guys eventually will be MVPs, NBA champions, Luka at this point just has that kind of it factor I look for in a superstar player. So that right there is the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Let me tell you who Luka Doncic is. Larry Bird Jr. The retro. Larry Bird can't do nothing. Torture. Joker and Luka Doncic. Best two players in the league. There's nothing you can do. Shout out my Dallas Mavericks. To the end. Shout out to the Luka fans. And we're big time right there, though. The Don, he led us with 50 wins this season.
That's what we do. We a 50 win, 50 win team. That's all we do is get to 50 win every year. That's Dallas Mavericks basketball. I like that right there. If you're a real Mavericks fan, you know what I'm talking about. It's legendary. I promise you though. We just getting started. We're gonna be good for a long time. Shout out to Nico Harris, the GM. When he go made them big moves. See, we ain't gonna do no complaining over here. It is what it is. We ain't made the playoffs last year. But this year, guess what? It's game time today. We got business, we got a 2 1 lead. It's a must win today now. How we acting to die? How we acting, Rick? How we acting, Mavericks? You know, we already know we Mavericks fans for life over here. We ain't gonna never switch. We ain't lose a draw. I'm gonna have the same energy. Shout out my team forever now. That was big time this year. I'm glad y'all, I'm glad we get to see y'all play some more now. Thankful. It's legendary. I thank the Lord for it. And I salute him. Thank y'all staff family for watching the full video. We're gonna be back with another video after this video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. You know what?